Hello friends, Tanya here for Trinity Stamps and today we are going to make three cards full of rainbow goodness. Yes, I am still on a rainbow kick. I don't know that that will ever go away. We are going to use the slimline stripe 6x9 stencil in the diagonal stripe version and yes, this is not the first one I stenciled. I actually did this, I ink blended over this stencil on seven different panels of 8.5 by 5.5 inch white cardstock because I loved it and I wanted to use it a bunch of different ways. I still have some left over, but this is being done with the Hero Hues reactive inks and I have had to refresh my ink pads with this ink refresher, which I'm told is water with uh, some glycerin. When I use this bottle up, <clears throat> excuse me, when I use this bottle up, I am going to try that formula out. In the meantime, the colors I'm using here are Berry Burst, Creamsicle, Lemon Drop, Granny Green Apple, um, Blue Raspberry, Blue Hawaii, and Galaxy Purple. That is the newest of their colors. And it's a beautiful deep purple. Goes perfect with this layout. So I'm going to continue with these colors and repeat again with the Berry Burst. And if you have noticed on this pattern, my ink blender does three stripes at a time. So you've got three stripes of each color with a repeat along each. Um, I don't think I do all of the colors twice. I think it's just through the green that I'm doing them twice. It looks amazing when it is done and you will understand why look at that why i wanted to make several of these panels that it just turned out perfect next i'm going to pull out the here's for you stamp and die set it's from the january 2022 release from trinity stamps and i have already stamped and colored and die cut the mushroom and I have one of the sentiments here I stamped with Versafine Claire Nocturne ink. And then I sprinkled some clear embossing powder on top of that. And I'm heat embossing that so I have a nice raised shiny sentiment. I will take the coordinating die from the stamp set and die set and die cut that. So that the sentiment is easier to place on my card. It does fit in a small die cutting machine like a Sidekick, which I love because you can keep that right on your desk. Next, I'm pulling out the modern embossed uh, A2 layers and I'm taking almost the smallest one. I took a piece of white cardstock and ink blended it with the blue raspberry and die cut that for a panel to go behind my sentiment and to ground my little mushroom dude. We are making a 5x7 or an A7 card so I also pulled out the modern embossed A2 or excuse me A7 layers and die cut a panel of the rainbow striped cardstock and adhered that to a 5x7 card base. Now I am adhering these different layers together. I used the four bar envelope and card builder, builder die set and I use the layers for a four bar card to die cut a piece of hologram paper for a layering panel behind this gorgeous heart printed love Danny 6x6 paper pack paper. It is currently sold out. If it's sold out usually that means it's going to be reordered and then there will be some in the future have to keep an eye out for that. I've adhered all of our pieces here onto the card front. All of them have a layer of cardstock scraps behind the panels to add a little dimension. And then I pulled out these aquamarine ripple rhinestones. They have an iridescent quality to them and I thought they looked perfect with that turquoisey little mushroom. Here is a purple four bar version that I made and I had actually made that about a month ago and really loved it. So here we made another version. Next up I am heat embossing the Sensational stamp 
This is a stamp from Love Danny also, and I am heat embossing it with gold embossing powder. I first inked it up with the Ink on 3 watermark and embossing ink. I thought I had my camera turned on. Clearly did not. <laughs> so now we're heat embossing that. So we have this gorgeous, uh, bold image and sentiment all in one. I'm going to take the creamsicle and lemon drop inks from Hero Hues. May as well keep going with the same inks, right? And I'm just going to create kind of a sun bl ink blending right on top of the image. I'm not going to do any uh, detailed coloring. I'm just going to create like a sun glowing right in the center of our image. I've blended those, those colors well together and now I'm going to spatter it with some clean clear water to get a little bit of spatter on, or reaction from the inks. Next I'm taking some liquid pixie dust in my little palette here with a little bit of water and I'm spattering that on the image to get a little extra shimmer and shine. Next, I'm taking that same four bar envelope and uh, card builder die set, and I'm using that to die cut two panels here, one with the holographic and one out of the white cardstock that I have done the uh, sentiment on. Again, doing another five by seven card using the modern embossed A7 stack to die cut this piece for the out of the rainbow stripes and I'm going to just adhere all of these together again with layers of white cardstock scraps to add that little bit of dimension. I love that holographic paper and how it shines and just adds that extra specialness. I tried this with some white shimmery cardstock and it really it looks much better with that uh, holographic. Here are three different kinds of embellishments that I considered for this card. We've got uh, like a, what is that, crystallized unicorn tears, golden baubles, and the rainbow reflections. I decided to go ahead with the rainbow reflections since that looks the most like that hologram foil paper. Just perfect. I'm using my pickup stick and this Trinity tray to help me get these all sorted so I can put the sizes that I want. I randomly add some dots of glue and then apply the rhinestones directly to the card. And that is card number three. These cards came together very quickly and a strong background will do that for you. Let me know in that description box below which of these cards you enjoyed the most. I really love hearing which ones you like. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please take a moment to do that now. And if you're interested in any of the products I use today, check that description box below. Here are a couple more videos we thought you might enjoy. And until next time, bye-bye.